<laughs> Hi, I'm Phil, and this film is all about home energy. And this is Malcolm, and he's going to tell me all about it. So, Malcolm, we're here to talk about the whole issue of home energy, which I assumed was just all to do with insulation in your loft, but there's a lot more to it than that. Isn't That's it? correct. You know, there's a myth that energy efficiency is just about insulation. There's lots of other things you can do in your home, although insulation is important. I mean, you may think that you have the right amount of insulation in your loft and that your home is energy efficient. Mm -hmm. I do. But actually, you might not have the right levels of insulation, so it's best to check because you could be throwing money away by wasting heat through your loft. And uh, the way to check is to contact Home Energy Scotland. Magic, so they're a font of all information. You'd, you'd go and check and then they'd tell you about the depth or that's the issue or the that's type correct. of insulation. That's correct, they can check about the depth of insulation. But there's also other things that you can do in your home in order to save energy. So simply insulating your roof isn't enough, there's other things you can do. Yes, definitely. You can control your heat in your home to make sure you're not wasting heat, for example. Turn down your thermostat by a degree, that's going to save you some money. And on average, you know, an average home, a three bedroom semi, could save between 80 and 100 pounds if they put thermostatic valves on their radiators mm -hmm. and control them properly. Yeah, yeah. And, and what do these things do on the radiators there? So they're valves that you put on each of your radiators yeah. independently and they can control the heat of the radiator in each room. So it means that you're not going to heat the whole house to the same temperature. You can have different rooms at different temperatures. Yeah, yeah, because you're not always in the West Wing, you know, so you don't want... Yeah, exactly. Or you could consider something investing in renewable technology, which may be something like a heat pump or solar panels on your roof where you generate your own electricity and save yourself some money. Everybody loves the solar panels. Everyone should get into them. I mean, it's gorgeous. And you think of it as free. It's like free it is. energy, free it's money, as it were, yeah. Free energy. Once you've made the upfront investment, yeah. It's a long-term investment, but you can save a lot of money on your electricity. So if you haven't got solar panels, is there a help to get them? Does the government offer help? Yes, you can get help through Home Energy Scotland. We've got free and partial advice. We have advisors that can come out to your home mm -hmm. and advise you on different types of renewable technology. Great, great. Because I'm a layman, right? So I've got you've got bulbs, you've got... Uh, what about glazing? You lose a lot of heat through your windows, uh -huh. so installing double glazing or triple glazing is one way to save a lot of energy. But still wear a scarf when you're doing the dishes. Well, you know, you could do. You and know. I find hoovering whilst I'm singing gives me... Well, why right. have your central heating at 22 degrees yeah. when you could put a jumper on yeah. or a scarf or something to keep you warmer and then turn the heating down a little bit and save some money? You get a bit active. I mean, it's stupidly simple, but it's a brilliant thing to do. Yeah, yeah. keep moving and keep... Uh, yeah. So yeah. just imagine, Phil, you could save between 80 and 100 pounds if you install thermostatic valves on your radiators. Imagine how much you could save if you did all these things. If you did all these things. You're absolutely right, Malcolm. That gives me the idea, of course, we need to personally insulate Stay cosy and warm, nice and cosy. Keep the heat in. Mm -hmm. But you can hear us now. So, Ulrich, please tell us your top tips for energy saving. Well, really, there's an awful lot of little things that everybody can do in their daily lives. I'll rattle them off. Um, <laughs> why not start with not filling your kettle more than you need? Why heat hot water that you're not going to drink? Mm. Excess water that's heated is just a waste of electricity. When you buy electrical equipment, choose fridges or televisions or whatever they are that are energy efficient. They all nowadays have ratings of energy efficiency, mm -hmm. energy consumption, and you can choose the best one that suits you. But of course, you've got a lot of existing equipment, and it's a good idea not to buy something new when an existing one serves. When you're not watching television, then don't just leave it on standby, turn it off completely. Exactly, because who wants to watch this guy? <laughs> Well, thanks, Ulrich. Well, we can't all be like Ulrich and live in an eco house, but we can try and keep our heat indoors and save energy here and there. It might sound so stupidly simple, but if we all chip in together, we can do Scotland and our pockets proud. I wish I had some insulation in this tent. <laughs>